what is up guys today i'm riding the douglas state forest trails i've uh always wanted to ride here and this is the first time i'm taking the talaria to these trails now i've gone down these trails on my vector light bike uh, my kuberg free rider and uh, i think that's it for my bikes but i've also hiked here walked the dogs here but i've never taken the talaria here this is the first time So here's a quick little map of the trails. They are just endless and they're basically hiking trails, but sometimes you'll see, uh, you know, if you see horseback riding, I kind of just turn around and head away from the horses. I don't like to mess with them. They could be spooked and you never know how they're gonna react to the loud electric motors. So without further ado, I'm gonna head into the trail alone, solo today. So this is probably, I don't know, four or five miles from my house. It took 9% to get here. And I did kind of take it easy. I wasn't like flying or anything. So it's quite a ride. And there's a concert venue right down the street here, the Indian Ranch, a very famous concert venue. And there's a concert going on right now and there's thousands of cars parking everywhere. So the best thing about this, the Talaria, is that I just get to rip past all the traffic and <laughs> just disregard it. It doesn't matter. I break down lane that, fly right by them all. But let's hit the trails. It's probably almost seven o'clock at night. So I got maybe 30 to 45 minutes before it gets kind of dark in these trails. But I got my headphones on and I'm just gonna cruise and see how it goes. trails are rough. This is tough for one-handed riding. I don't have a GoPro here, so I'm just gonna get a quick little, quick little bit of footage with the one-hand riding, but it's not fun. You hit a huge rock while you're with one hand and anything can happen. These trails are pretty sweet though. This is like a trail that a four x four can get down, but they branch off everywhere. And, wow, this is a really rocky part. And they turn into single track. So you can get lost out here pretty easily. There are a lot of signs so the walkers and hikers don't get lost, but uh, you can get turned around pretty quick. So I bought a brand new GoPro battery because my last one you saw in my videos was puffed and dying and uh, it uh, just wouldn't, wouldn't last more than 15, 20 minutes and then it got to the point where it wouldn't even turn on. So I ordered a new one on eBay, came in the mail and wow, this is tough, tough trails with one hand, man. And uh, I popped it in the GoPro and it actually turned on and I was like, wow, that's amazing. But I went to go use the camera the other day and it was completely dead. And I plugged it into the type C charger and it wouldn't even turn on. So I don't know what the heck's going on with my GoPro, but I'm like cursed and I can't use my GoPro anymore. So I might have to buy one of those new uh, action Insta 360 cameras or something else because GoPro is just not handling it. It's just not hacking it anymore. I don't know. I'm not really happy with them. <laughs> I just swallowed a bug, dude. <coughs> that was awful. Wow. Look at these trails. This doesn't look like a hill. But that is a hill and this is a huge rock with like a one foot step up. All right, so I've been following this trail for 4% battery and it already turned into single track in the middle of the woods. And I'm already starting to get worried that I'll get lost because this is like two trails off the main trail 
and it's already getting dark. <laughs> I did bring a backpack with, uh, I got about half a bottle of water here, which is helpful because I'm pretty thirsty already. But uh, it's been a while since I rode like this and it really wears out your hands, man. My hands are getting really tired to the point where I almost whiskey throttled a couple times because there's so many rocks that you're maneuvering around on these trails. But the bike's holding up great. And I'm gonna keep going to just see where this trail pokes out, but uh, it just seems to be getting smaller and smaller. Like it's just gonna end in the middle of the woods and I'm gonna be out here alone or maybe with Bigfoot. But let's keep going, see what happens. You can't make this stuff up. The trail just kind of turned into rock cliff now. If I had to come back up this, I'd probably have to walk the bike. There's just cliff everywhere. Oh my God, this is crazy. I definitely need to get out of here before it gets dark. I got probably about 30 minutes. This is insane. I just wrote up some gnarly stuff. I probably should have filmed it. I wish I had a GoPro, but uh, now this is the trail. I can't get up that. I mean, I might be able to get up that, but it's not something that I want to attempt right now on my own. So I think it's finally time to start backtracking and I'm going to have to go up a couple nasty hills already. Like that one's pretty bad too. They don't look like much on camera. They never do, but this is like probably almost 15 feet of an incline to get up there. Yeah, I only lasted 10% of my battery in there. Overall, it was pretty awesome. Uh, I did kind of notice some battery rattle. And I had somebody else also mention that in my video, said that they can hear the battery rattling a little. Even though I do have the two rubber stoppers that they give you on the Sting MX-4. And apparently, it still rattles a little bit. Holy shit. The sun is so bright right now, I can't even see where I'm driving down the road. I could see it better in the camera. Wow, insane. This is kind of dangerous. I'm gonna get hit by a car. Nice. 